Hello everyone. Our today's topic is photosynthesis and respiration in plants. We will be learning about what is meant by photosynthesis and respiration in plants. How do both processes take place? What is the difference between both processes? and so on what is photosynthesis it is a process through which a plant produces its food in the form of energy using sunlight water and air they absorb carbon dioxide from the sunlight through their leaves while they absorb water from the soil through their roots oxygen is liberated as a byproduct and light is considered as a major factor to complete the process of photosynthesis as the intensity of sunlight and carbon dioxide in the environment increases the process of photosynthesis increases too photosynthesis happens in all green parts of a plant leaves are usually the greenest parts the cells of a plant leaf has special components known as chloroplasts which contain a green colored pigment called chlorophyll this chlorophyll not only gives the green color to the leaves but also helps the plant absorb sunlight for the process of photosynthesis light energy is absorbed by chlorophyll molecules whereas carbon dioxide and oxygen enter through the tiny pores of stomata located in the epidermis of leaves the upper layer of the leaves is called upper epidermis while the layer beneath the first layer is called lower epidermis the stomata are present on the lower epidermis each stoma has two bean shaped cells which are called guard cells and there is opening in each stoma which helps in exchange of oxygen and other gases in and out of the leaves did you know although there are seven colors in light chlorophyll only absorbs three colors that is red orange and blue another byproduct of photosynthesis is sugars such as glucose and fructose the glucose produced during photosynthesis is then used to fuel various cellular activities these sugars are then sent to the roots stems leaves fruits flowers and seeds in other words these sugars are used by the plants as an energy source which helps them grow these sugar molecules then combine with each other to form more complex carbohydrates like cellulose and starch 
The cellulose is considered as the structural material that is used in plant cell walls. The byproduct of this physiochemical process is oxygen. Photosynthesis also applies to other organisms besides green plants. These include several prokaryotes such as cyanobacteria, purple bacteria and green sulfur bacteria. These organisms exhibit photosynthesis just like green plants. Photosynthesis is also used by algae to convert solar energy into chemical energy. Process of Photosynthesis At the cellular level, the photosynthesis process takes place in cell organelles called chloroplasts. These organelles contain a green colored pigment called chlorophyll which is responsible for the characteristic green coloration of the leaves. As already stated, photosynthesis occurs in the leaves and the specialized cell organelles responsible for this process is called the chloroplast. Structurally, a leaf comprises a petiole, epidermis and a lamina. The lamina is used for absorption of sunlight and carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. This process of photosynthesis occurs in two stages. Light dependent reaction or light reaction, light dependent reaction or dark reaction. Respiration in plants. As you have learnt that through the process of photosynthesis, plants turn sunlight into energy. However, this energy that is in the form of carbohydrate molecules is not usable for the plant at this stage. To break down these molecules into usable energy, another process takes place in the cells of the plant that is respiration. What is respiration in plants? It is a series of chemical reactions in which the plant breaks down the carbohydrate molecules in the presence of oxygen into simpler form of energy that is the molecules adenosine triphosphate ATP. There are different types of carbohydrates but the most prominent one is glucose. Therefore, it is usually glucose molecules that are disintegrated to liberate energy. As the result of this process, not only ATP is produced but also carbon dioxide and water are released as byproducts. The roots, stems and leaves perform the respiration process separately. Roots The roots that are the underground part of the plant absorb air from the air pockets in the soil and collect oxygen from it. This oxygen is used for the respiration process. Stems Stems have tiny pores known as stomata diffuse air which then circulates in different parts of stomata. At this stage, carbon dioxide that is released in the process is also spread through stomata. Leaves The surface of the leaves is also covered with the pores, that is, 
stomata which absorb the air and exchange gases by opening and closing the pores difference between photosynthesis and respiration in plants although they might seem similar and hence confusing at first there are numerous facts that will help you differentiate between the two processes 1 carbon dioxide water and energy are the inputs of photosynthesis but are the outputs of respiration 2 photosynthesis takes place usually in only green chloroplast containing leaves but respiration takes place in all cells of all parts of the plant 3 photosynthesis is performed in the daytime in the presence of sunlight but respiration occurs at all times 4 in photosynthesis energy is stored however in respiration energy is liberated 5 in photosynthesis the energy is in the form of glucose molecules while it is turned into adenosine triphosphate atp molecules in respiration we hope now you have learned some basic information about photosynthesis and respiration in plants if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still if you have some questions then ask your teacher